Wolverine, or Logan in this case, has been a killing machine and an X-Men, Avenger, and any kind of hero that you may think about. But what if every other hero is dead and he becomes old on his own? Well, if you wanna know, you have to ask yourself first. Should I read Old Man Logan? Okay, first of all, let's get some context here. And remember, there are no spoilers on this part of the video. We are 50 years away from what happened on Wolverine and Myth State. Don't worry, I will not spoil anything about that comic either. And Wolverine hasn't killed, fought, or even released his class on these 50 years. His life now is just peaceful with his wife and two kids. He's just a farmer that has some money issues to pay rent. His life is totally normal now. Spoiler alert! This is when it gets just a little bit spoilery. I'm waiting for you to go forward and... there we go. But the USA has been conquered 50 years and is divided among supervillains. Logan lives on Hulkland and needs money to pay the rent to the Hulk gang or him and his family will be killed. The Hulk gang beats him up because he didn't have the money and he has to promise to pay double next month. While he is on bed healing from the being that he took, a blinded Hawkeye comes and offers him money in exchange of helping him travel to deliver a secret package. Logan accepts and lives with Hawkeye to the east of New Babylon. Okay, the spoilers are over. Did you come back? Did you... there you are. Now that we know that Logan is peaceful and doesn't want anything but his normal life with his wife and kids, is he going to break his rule and release the class to kill someone? Well, if you wanna know, you'll have to read it. Now the analysis. But first, remember, every score is measured by Wolverine comics, not every comic. Level of fun. Phone being those sarcastic jokes and I'll kill you lines from Logan, it gets a 5. So if you were looking for a confident Logan that doesn't care about anything and is a straight killing machine that threats everyone and has amazing punchlines, then this one is not the one for you. But the level of fun in this comic, it's just perfect. You laugh when you need to and never get the tension out of the center. I find this to be perfect. The level of action. Action being those hand to claw fights that we always get when it comes to Wolverine, it gets a 10. I know what you might be thinking, he's not raising his claws. How can he be such a badass then? Well, he might not be fighting everyone and just killing everything, but the fights on this comic are just amazing. Every single one of them is perfect, and many things end up how you're not expecting them to end. Level of story. 10. Yes, I love this comic, and I think it's my Marvel favorite. The story is just amazing, everything makes sense, many things are unexpected, and the argument for everything is just so good. Even the way it ends is weird, and you just end up asking for more. It can't be better. I love it. There's not much more I can say without spoiling it, so... Should you read Old Man Logan? Well, it is up to you now. But I say, yes, you should. To get more, should I read? Click on the left. And to get some awesome motion comic songs, click on the right. And remember to share, like and subscribe to get more. But first, who is next?